Hi, my name is Monica Williams. I'm the flute teacher for the Contra Costa Music Guild. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about flexibility and getting a clear high register on the flute. Now, one of the most common questions I get as a flute teacher when I get a new student is how do I make a clear high sound? Um, and that's a really great question. And today we're going to explore how to do that. So one of the most common thoughts is, is that to play a higher note, you use more air. This kind of makes sense a little bit. You are higher notes, you're going to use more air. It's a teeny, teeny, teeny bit true, but it's not the main thing at all. Instead, it's the direction of the air and how we shape our embouchure, as well as a little bit of support that makes it a high note. So we're going to actually start back with the head joint part. Um, even if you've been playing a while, this is a great thing to do as you're learning to play some high notes. So we're going to start with the head joint and I'm going to actually start with it covered again. Um, and what I'm going to do is change my air direction between being placed a little bit lower and a little bit higher. Let's do this with the palm of our hand. So I want everyone to take the palm of their hands and I want you to imagine that you're blowing about here for your low note and about here for your high note. And notice what muscles you're shaping or shifting in your, in your face in order and lips in order to make the note high to low. So for me, if I'm gonna play a low note, it looks like this. For my high note, it looks like this. Here's my low. My bottom lip comes forward a little bit and it actually closes the opening in my lips just a little bit so that the embouchure is smaller. If the embouchure is smaller, the airspeed is faster. That's what makes a high note. So let me do this super close for, so we can see this. So here's my low note. So my, my, my lips close just a little bit, but they don't close because they're going like this, but it, they close because my bottom lip is coming just a bit forward for that to make the air direction higher. So let's, like I said, we're gonna take the palm of our hands and I want you to practice shifting your airstream from higher to lower. And just a little bit, play with that a little bit more going between low note, high note, low note, high note. Okay, now let's try it on the head joint. So as I say, you're gonna start with it covered. You're gonna get the low pitch that we've been getting. Then I'm gonna use my lips only and get the high note, almost like I'm saying the syllable P. try on your own and go ahead and pause this if you want practice seeing if you can get a low note or high note if you get stuck remember patience try to get from the the bottom to the top feeling that that on the palm of your hand okay next up we are going to work with it being all the way uncovered this is a little harder i will say this is a little harder it's going to take some patience but if once you get this add this if you haven't gotten this yet Go ahead and just keep working on this. But if you if you have, let's work on this part. So I'm here. That's my low note. Here's my high one. So it's very high and it's hard to get. My bottom comes forward. And as I mentioned, support is also a factor. That goes back to the air speed. So I'm using my diaphragm, which is that muscle right below my, my lungs. If I were to say the syllable ha 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 ha, or like you're, you're saying, uh, like Santa Claus, ho 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 ho, that's, that's your diaphragm. I'm making that activated just a little bit to assist me with that air speed going forward. So a great exercise for this on the, on the flute is both just practicing low and high. If you find that that's really easy and you're good at that, that's great. Try doing it without a tongue in between. So I'm going to slur from my lowest to my highest. That's challenging. Okay, all right. Now, go ahead and put your whole flute together. Once you've mastered, or I've gotten a little bit familiar, I shouldn't say mastered, once you've gotten a little bit familiar with getting the low sound and the high sounds with your head, head joint, go ahead and go ahead and put it back your, your flute like this. 
I'm going to go back to what we did in episode two or the second tutorial, which we did the B, the A, and the G, um, and work on getting the B, A, and G high now too. The reason I'm going back to this is because I want to make sure, again, as I'm doing my high register, that I'm not shifting and turning and making my balancing um, be a factor for the tone in my high register. So here is my B. Here's my low B. Here's my high B. Go ahead and practice both your low sound and your high sound a couple of times with B. Okay, now let's do the same thing with an A. Let's practice our low and our high with A. That's challenging. And let's do the same thing with a G. troubleshooting things. Try to make sure that you're not getting um, so much error or frustration if you're not getting it, that you're getting this kind of a sound. <laughs> Which I'm just using a ton of air. I did get a sound. I got actually a higher sound. If you notice that. That's actually too high. Just right. Okay, if you've gotten that, here is an exercise for uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb, the one we first did. And let me share my screen here and I'll show you. There we go. Um, how to do this. Now this is all written low. Oops, sorry. This is all written low. And this is the notes B, A, G, A. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to play one low note as written, and then I'm going to echo that with a high note. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to create a variation so that I'm making it kind of low, then high, then low, then high. It's also going to sound cool and help with my lip strength and flexibility, embouchure strength and flexibility. So, start with the low B, then a high B, A, G, A, B. Highs, lows, high, lows, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high. of a theme and variation and um, if you're looking for a great method for this Catherine Blocky has a great method for um, this that has that written out really nicely between the low and the high you can go to her website and look for that music um, you can do that on any song that has those three notes B A and G but it's just a fun way to practice both the low and the high because you need to be able to play low and high for the flute. It has such a great range um, in order to express the flute fully. So hopefully this was helpful and gave you some helpful tips on how to make the high sounds without using a ton of air for the flutes. Uh, stay tuned for the, the next exercise, which is going to be about breathing.